What is up guys, I'm here with a, another reaction video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Hulk vs. New Day. I'm gonna try and catch him on some death battle. Quick thing, um I got for I got some I think headphones for this. They're more or less resistant headphones because they're right there. Um, but I also got some new Funko Pop like Darth Vader and um and I also got a laptop which is what I'm using right now. I'm actually going to Center that. So it's up uh, 20 minutes. I hope I don't have to cut this. But um, before we get into the episode, I have something very important yeah. to tell you. Our new game, just... Super Red Ray Gun, just launched on Steam for PC, Mac, and Linux. With over 20 unique levels, three modes of play, and tongue-in-cheek story of 1980 politics, it's a whole lot of value for just 9.99. And pick it up by November 15th, and we'll even give you the soundtrack featuring music from Phantom and Pay and Bubble Pipe Media for free. Click the link in the description after the video and get your copy today. Pure, unadulterated rage. Usually, in a stressful situation, you want to avoid this sort of emotion in order to keep yourself focused. Unless you're a giant rampaging I, I, pile of muscle, I really like these two, Dr. Bruce Banner, the Incredible Hulk, and Doomsday, the monster who killed Superman. He's with my bullshit. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. I'll you some with this, so. Within each oh, of us, fine. off times, there dwells That's a cancer. mighty and raging fury. And this suits no one better than the mild-mannered scientist, Bruce Banner. Yep. Cause when Bruce gets angry, oh boy, you wouldn't like him when he's angry. Dr. Robert well, Bruce Banner may have grown up with few friends, that. but what he lacked in popularity, he paid up tenfold with his intellect. However, in spite of his gifts, it was never enough to earn the respect and love of his father. Partly because Bruce was so smart that his alcoholic dad literally thought he was a monster, and expressed that to Bruce Bruce figured if he was stuck with his big green Goliath forever, he might as well try 
try using it for good, eventually joining the Avengers, Defenders, the Fantastic Four, and even the Illuminati. Hulk has held up a 150 billion ton mountain, escaped Earth's gravitational pull with a single jump, and one time when a planet's tectonic plate started splitting apart, threatening to shatter the whole world, he just jumped right in there and pulled the planet back together. The estimated average mass of a single lithospheric plate is nearly 45 quintillion tons, and the Hulk pulled two of these together with nothing but his bare hands. And he's not just strong and tough, he's more than twice as fast as a fighter jet, which puts him over Mach 5 speeds at least, and he can always go faster if he's pissed off enough. This yep. is because the Savage Hulk's strength is directly related to his anger. The angrier he gets, the more powerful he becomes. In theory, this means his maximum level of strength is potentially infinite. And when he taps into that immeasurable rage to the fullest, he truly lives up to his name of Worldbreaker. Bigger, stronger, and oozing with gamma radiation, the Worldbreaker Hulk is so powerful, with a single stump he created earthquakes built hundreds of miles away. In his battle with Sentry, basically Marvel Superman, they almost destroyed New York. And when battling another Worldbreaker Hulk, a single collision between them obliterated an entire planet. Even the mutant Darwin's power, which specifically adapts to counter any enemy, decided that the best defense... I really think I should just skip into the death battle, because I was, I already think Doomsday is going to win, so there's, and I know everything about Doomsday, that they're probably going to talk about, like, his poisonous spikes, yeah, his the helps reduce redness. Just enter the code Death Battle at checkout. So head on over to Harriet.com by clicking the link in um, the description below and get your free trial bet and post safe Just remember to um, use the code Death Battle at checkout. But right now, it's time for a Death Battle! That's for Doomsday Campaign. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's for Doomsday Campaign. Let's get into it. Ooh, I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm so excited. Let's get into it. 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 Let's get into
Ooh. His face. Oh, oh, the world. God. They just want that city. The city, the city is so scary. And this is going to be a command. And they just got Wolverine and Wonder Woman. Man. Ooh, owie. Out. Oh, shit. Oh! Give him the wet work, Doomsday. That's my boy. Oh, his name is Ursula, by the way. Just remember that off the top of my head. That was beautiful. Doomsday so can, can't die by completely, um... Well, even assuming Hulk's strength was infinite, his healing factor was not. Don't get me wrong, it can only be overtaxed by hits from absurdly powerful beings such as Zeus or Sentry, who Doomsday certainly compares. Naturally, Doomsday's crazy oh, yeah, he does. He killed Superman. He was in Wonder Woman's arms. The Hulk may look like a giant green monster, he but he nearly killed Darkseid. There was no competition. I mean, yeah, Hulk was, he's beaten a whole lot more characters, but he's killed by Deadpool and Hawkeye. That's not, I mean, and Game Face, technically, um, Immortal, except for every time he dies, he comes back immortal to whatever killed him. Um, and he can't die. Doomsday was killed by Batman or Batfleck or Bruce Wayne. No, not, not, god damn it. By Superman with the use of Batman's kryptonite spear. Um, had he not used that, Superman would A, be alive still. Which I'm glad they killed him, but he's still alive for reasons. Um, and then, um, they killed Doomsday, so... He was made from General Zod. I have no idea if he'll still be weak to Kryptonite. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But I really hope he still is because I really don't like 
movie doomsday and like comic book do doomsday because he they do comic book doomsday and video game do doomsday so much justice just do it that way not like make the character by generals on and don't make him be created by Lex Luthor but yeah rant over Lex Luthor. Crazy Mike. No, he could not. Actually, we're going to do this in a very different way. We're going to continue with our death battles by doing a marathon of the past three. Um, so we're going to do, like we just did, Doomsday and Hulk, um, Zora and Urza from One Piece vs. Fairy Tale, and then the last one for the year from what I've heard, Deadpool vs. Pinkie Pie. Uh-uh. This one, the, I have a feeling Zoro vs. Urza is going to take the cake for me. I mean, I have my money on Urza, mostly because I love Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale is one of my favorite animes. I mean, One Piece is okay for me. It's just not the best, in my opinion, but we're going to go with Urza. I'm really mad if I lose. So, let's get into my, um, Zoro vs. Urza, let me just get the actual death battle. Oh, I'm pretty sure, um, I'm sorry, it's an ad, I hate ads, um, Urza's too scary. And here we go, death battle. I did something. What did I do? No. You did, no, I didn't. What did I do? Um, sorry. I go out of full screen. I have no idea what I did. Oh. I think I started the video over. It will suck if I did. Or I just need the quality worse. I think the quality is worse. Oh, no, calls. Is there any just. Let's see if I. You mean. A deck. An endless. Game you always play. Exactly, ma'am. I will withstand any physical pain to protect the ones that I love. Alright, the events are set. Let's end this debate. Thank Once you, and you for Donald Trump. It's time for a death battle! battle. Anyway, Zoro, here we go. Oh. oh, sorry, lady. Could you point me in the way of the shipyard? I've been looking around for hours. Uh -huh. You're the one I'm looking for. Come peacefully and you won't be harmed. Sorry, I'm busy. Maybe later. You have to do this the hard way. I told you I'm busy. Woo! Well, I guess we're doing this now. This girl gets some clothes. She's done. Like, I really hope she doesn't get a chance. Like, I really hope he doesn't get airborne. Because if he gets airborne, he, he, she is done. <laughs> that boy. Ah. 
I wouldn't say to have kind of like the um there was a hand. You are strong, pirate. Fool. Nothing is worse than the loss of life. Don't start crying, woman. What? Don't look for all that strength, old setup. I can do this. I will fight for myself, for my kill, for my strength, for my friends. Bring it on. It's just so fast. You're not the only one who fights for their friends. There is a why. Why? Where the hell is that shipyard? Hey, oh, Jesus! Talk about a killing blow! In the past, Urza could react to projectiles flying over 500 miles. Man, oh, buddy. That makes me so mad. Oh, that annoys me so bad. But um, uh, yeah, that was Zora versus Urza. <coughs> I'm actually annoyed at that. Okay, I don't care about the Google notifications right now, and I need them trying to do reactions. Thank you. I believe. Reactions. And continue right now with Pinky Five versus Deadpool now. Before we get into the episode, I wanted to let you know I'm going to watch the video for the holidays. That's APGN 1 and 2. Disorder, even the all new Super Rad Ray Gun. I don't care about video games right now. Fiction. Now that you've seen the video game, you can tell that Deadpool is the most fragile of all heroes. Now I don't care about the video game. Deadpool, here we go. Depression. Actually, I'll Cancer. skip the Deadpool point. Think of the Merc with a mouth. It's been two years since our last Deadpool episode. I've had plenty of prep time. The land of Equestria. A magical kingdom full of healing yeah, flames. I'm not going to lie, I used to watch My Little Pony. Just don't. Unless, like don't. you happen to Never live on a rock farm. Just the hell's a rock farm? The rock farm. No, no, no. They literally farm rocks. For these ponies, rocks were their life. They harvested rocks. They sculpted rocks. They played with rocks. They built they their homes with rocks. They even ate rocks. Well, one pony on this farm wasn't quite as rock crazy that. as the rest of her family. Oh, no. She's a whole nother level of crazy. This is Pinkamina Diane Pie. Just call her Pinkie Pie. One day, chipping away in the grueling rock fields as always, Pinky witnessed something that would change her life forever. Colors! The very sight of this unprecedented explosion of color, which originated from Rainbow Dash's first legendary Sonic Rainboom, instantly brought Pinky the most joy she had ever felt in her life. Brimming with happiness, she wanted to share her newfound jubilation with her grim-faced family. So she stayed up all night organizing a surprise party. It was so out of change that it made them all smile for the first time. Which was actually quite horrifying. That's when Pinky finally realized that her life's mission was meant to bring joy to all. Wait, what's that thing on her butt? Oh, that's the cutie mark. Everybody gets one when they discover their calling in life. <laughs> Screw up. Like Ryan Reynolds, Senpai, once said, Smack 